I've come to the Bibliotheca Casanatense near the Vatican to meet an expert in early Christianity, Kim Haynes Eitzen. She tells me she has compelling evidence that reveals the identity of the beast. Good morning. So, what exactly do we have here? Well, I've been looking at some fragments of the Book of Revelation. The Book of Revelation? That's right. The Book of the End of Days. The End of Days, the Apocalypse. It's a prophetic book. It's got loads of symbolism, but it's also very much a political book and making a political claim about the cause of evil. The cause of evil. Or who's responsible for evil. So tell me about this coding, because as I understand it, the Antichrist was given a, a code, so they would never call his name. They would just say it by the code. Well... There has been a lot of debate about what this number, in particular 666, who it refers to. There has also been a strong argument made for 666 referring to Nero. Nero was emperor of Rome from 54 to 68 AD, around the time when the first Christians began to arrive in Rome. So how do you make 666 translate to Nero. When you apply numerical values to the name Kaiser Neron and you add up those numbers, you come to 666. In ancient Greek and Hebrew, every letter had a corresponding number. If you add up the letters of the name for Emperor Nero, written in Hebrew, Kaiser Neron, the total comes to 666. But Nero is just one of many names that can add up to 666. Kim believes a later copy of the Book of Revelation, found in an archaeological dig in Egypt, confirms the beast is Nero. One of the interesting things about these fragments is that we've got two different numbers. What are those letters? A Kri is a 600, uh -huh. Xi 60, Sigma a 6, 666. This one over here, we have a Kri Yoda Sigma 616 with a line over the top. Why is so it different? You might think that this number destroys the possibility that it could be Nero. Yes. What's striking about this is that it may help to confirm the identity of Nero because this would be the number that we would get if we spelled Nero according to the Latin spelling, Nero Kaiser. Okay. Without the N, the letter N represented 50, the huh. number 50. So 666 minus 50, 616. So we've so just we gone. So we just and we're going to come up with 616 and we have the same guy. That's right. <laughs> I'm so clever.